Hey there everyone, this is MKJR. This is a run through of Audacity. Everything you need to know of it in as short time as possible. We're gonna go over a few things. One, this is very essential, is just setting it up. Make sure you have the right playback device. Make sure you have the right microphone and so on and so forth. The second is more important, recording the audio itself and noise reduction with it, which is probably the most essential thing you wanna do because any background noise will be very distracting in your audio and you don't want that. Further on, we will go over normalization and also compression, followed by just exporting it to whatever format that I'd recommend or you may need to use for your purposes. So let's get right into it. Remember, you can go straight down to whatever section of the video you want with the links in the description below or from the timestamps from before. So here's Audacity. We have a few simple buttons at the top left, which are the most important. Pause, play, stop, go back, go forward, and record. This right here, audio host, don't worry about it. What you do need to go to is the microphone. Make sure you have the right microphone. If you're using a headset, select your headset. If you're using a webcam, select your webcam. I'm using my Blue Yeti, so I'm using my Blue Yeti, of course. Mono is my recording channel. This is good for voices, stuff like that. Uh, if you're recording something like a podcast, then yeah, you will want to go stereo and you would maybe want to change up your microphone settings as well. But for the sake of this, this is just for someone's audio, a voiceover, or anything of that sort, you want mono. Finalize your playback device. If you recorded something and you don't hear anything back, first thing to check is your playback device. Are you using your speakers? Are you using your headphones, your microphone speakers? Uh, well, the uh, auxiliary check for the microphone, that is, doesn't have speakers, it'd be very weird. Uh, or not. So let's just get right into it and let's record. When you record, you can say anything you want. Anything you want in the world. That's a great freedom. You say something nice, like apple pie is delicious. That's nice. No one's going to be angry about that unless they hate apple pie. Don't know that person, but they don't. I don't think they do. You can say act something actually bad you know, or controversial, like uh, Carol Baskin killed her own husband. Um, you can also say something like you should do, like a to-do list. I like to-do lists. Like, um... I got a good one. I got a good one. Hey there, everyone. This is MKJR. Please subscribe to my channel. I do tech reviews and other tech related content. Wow. Wow, well, look at that. That was such a great recording. I think so. First off, with your recording, we're going to open it up. You can grab it here, drag down. You can click and hold to select wherever parts you want. You can double click to click the whole thing and select the whole uh, file, the whole recording. If you notice right here, mine didn't say anything. There's the background noise of my fan. Don't believe me? Let's listen. Hear that? Now that's a sound that I'm not particularly interested in exporting. I don't know about you, but if I want someone to hear my voice, I don't want them to hear my fan the whole time. Or at least, not that much. Great thing with this software, or most audio software, that you need to know is noise reduction. So for this, you just select whatever longest piece you have for the background noise. But this right here was just me being quiet on purpose for the sake of this. So a noise reduction, I get the noise profile right here. This, this examines the section of the audio. Now that we have the noise reduction profile, we want to go straight into reducing the whole audio clip. We're gonna do this by double clicking, then we're going to noise reduction, and then we're gonna to go to reduce. For me, I have reduced by 20 and the sensitivity up to eight. You can go up to, down to three sensitivity. You can go more noise reduction or less. Um, I wanna go above a sensitivity of 10, and I wanna go over noise reduction over 30 because it's gonna stop start getting parts of your audio itself at that point. We're gonna plus okay, and you see right here, all this noise, gone. Absolutely gone. Absolutely gone. It is great. Okay, so, next step we wanna do is normalize it and compress it. Now, this is for the point of making your audio louder. When you're watching something on TV, like a football game or just a TV show, and you notice there's a commercial, and the commercial's super loud, you don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be the guy 
right after that the commercial's so quiet you can't really hear it you can't hear it they have to turn up the tv to listen they're not gonna listen they're not gonna listen so we're gonna turn it up ourselves to where it should be so i use uh what well, people have you can go to compress or normalize first i like to normalize first and i usually set it up to negative three decibels uh negative three is usually around where everyone else has their audio it's very comparable to everyone else's. If just a little bit quieter, I'm fine with being a little bit quieter because my peaks will still go up there and I talk loud naturally, so it works for me. You can mess with this, you can mess with the game and on your mic and all this stuff like this. This is just a good way to do it. So you go negative three decibels. This whole thing goes all the way up like that. <whistles> Went all the way up. You do notice though, there's some peaks. I do. So those peaks aren't that great. Because when we're going to compress the audio, we're making all of them around the same level. We get the top part of the audio and we're going to kind of bring them all up there. We're going to make it match more so it just sounds fluid and nice. This little buddy right here, this little spiky boy right here, not really desirable. So we're going to get rid of that. All we're going to do is just try to normalize it again. So we're normalize, let's see if negative three. Didn't do anything. Okay. In fact, normalize. Let's go negative five. Ta da! I reduced it. Uh, this is actually a little drastic to do that like that way, but at least it gets those uh, peaks out there. If you have something like a clap, you want to get rid of that. You do. Or when you try to compress it, it just doesn't sound all that good. And you want to avoid that. As you might notice already, we have some background noise again. So we can go back there, noise reduction, get noise profile, effect, whole thing now, noise reduction. And we're gonna do apply that again. So we have even a cleaner profile than before. Effect, compressor, I go negative three decibels, ratio two to one. You can mess with those settings if you wish. I recommend just being conservative with it. Base settings, change it just a little bit or to my settings if you like that if that works for you uh, do whatever is best for you this is what i recommend as just a starting point for your audio and ta-da now it is all around the same hey there everyone this is mkjr please subscribe to my channel i do tech reviews and other tech related content all right so the whole thing looks pretty good uh i can cut out like stuff like this the little click the end i can delete that I can remove that. That's something very basic. This time before, I can delete it. Uh, you can control Z. Get that back if you want. I recommend leaving those gaps in there because if you're sending this to someone, if they're putting in a video or something like that, those gaps know when you're talking. And without the gaps, it's harder to separate and harder to pace the video or whatever thing you're using the audio for properly. So I recommend leaving those in there unless they just don't want that, unless you don't want that. You can delete it. So at the very end, you can select it, you don't have to select it, but I'm selecting it. And we're gonna export to whatever uh, file we want. We can do MP3 or WAV. WAV is a more uncompressed file. So if you're giving this to someone, and let's say you're singing or something like that, uh, I recommend WAV because they're gonna mess with it more. They're gonna tweak your voice and so on, so on, so on and so forth. And they want to make it sound as good as they can. They're gonna go on more. If the way you have it right now sounds good enough, and for most things it will sound good enough, you just want MP3. That audio is good enough. It'll work. It's all you need to do is MP3. That works for most people. Go to MP3, save as MP3, and that's it. That's all you need to do to learn. Audacity. Don't be scared of anything. It's very straightforward. Uh, if anything else was wrong along the way, check your microphone settings. Check your gain. Check the cardioid, cardioid that you're messing with for your microphone. For me, it's a little harsh shaped cardioid like yay, which means the back isn't um, recorded, but the front is. And there's some basic settings like that. But if it's just a microphone from a headset, it's not like a one of these, don't have to worry about that too much. All right, so thank you for watching. I hope that helped you get familiar with Audacity really quickly. Uh, if not, I'm sorry. Um, 
if you have any, any issue whatsoever, just give a comment. I'm free enough and I'll see it. So thank you.